Hello. I have returned. I hope I can, uh, sort out the, uh, sounds that are coming through on this mic next stream. It seems like I went from, um, if I, if I moved, like, a few inches away from my mic, all the sound got cut out to, like, the littlest noise is getting picked up again. Uh, let's have a look. Still charging the controller. Um, yeah, so I started Alan Wake during Halloween, spooky times, um, but it came out quite late in the month, like the 27th, I think. Uh, I didn't have internet for like three days. Thanks. So I didn't really get to play this much, but it doesn't mean we're not going to play it over spooky times. In fact, quite the opposite. We are going to continue to play this because I've been really enjoying it so far. It's been a good game to play, and I'm excited to be playing it again. Oh, I thought I was like, waiting for something to load. It's like telling me the uh, in-game messages. <laughs> hmm. Loud. I need to see if I can adjust some stuff on the uh, stream. Might be difficult from my uh, tablet. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the dark presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the dark presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your... It's insane. And there's so much of it. Gonna skip the dialogue there because um, I'm pretty sure we saw that last stream. This is just where it was picking up, or last save rather. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch, in the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. Just make sure the uh, stream is up to date. Man, this is really hard to do for my um, other screen, surprisingly. Okay, I'm happy with that. Finally. If the cult has the clicker. Does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Confusion.
Anything you want to add, Sam? Mr. Sam Lake. It's depressing when you think your TV hasn't got the game mode on, uh, but it is, so things are just that dark. Uh, right now, you'll remember a whole new button configuration. Okay. Wasn't that bad in hindsight. Okay, let's use my abilities to. Uh, what's it called again? Profile the witness. Lake said the colt has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe. The dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath. Where is my face? <laughs> the dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. Oh no. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. What else we got? Some radio, some some TV. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's that's really nice. Learn more about the clicker. Okay, Mr. Wake. I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. This is all I have. Be careful with them. He's just gonna come on here and grab those. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Oh, I could have done a little bit more. Could have saved it right here, look. Nice fuzzy image of the uh, reflection again. Well, so look, that looks like the back of my head. That's weird. Yeah, it looks like it's just an image, like the exact image of me not being reflected. Huh. And that's to put stuff in. Learn more about the clicker. Can I go to my magical world? Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Cool. Okay, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything I can do in my mind palace. 
I speak to Sam. I call that guy three different things. His his character name, Alex Casey. Wake has more information. I need to keep questioning him. The guy who plays his face, Sam Lake, and Max Payne, who he looks like. You want to tell me some information? Uh, case board. Maybe the case board's got something. Although it's not lit up, usually. Oh no, it is. Uh, let's let's start here, shall we? Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this yeah. clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Ooh. Sure. <laughs> no. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all of this. God damn it, microphone. Stop picking up my breathing. Why do you do this? A uh, lunchbox found at the bottom of the waterfall at Cauldron Lake. Who's involved? God damn it. I swear to God. <laughs> Literally the last one. No reminding cultists that victims are like animals. There we go. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Unlucky. Oh shit, have we got all these to connect? Wake was trapped in Dark Quest for 13 years. There is an entity inside the dark place called the Dark Presence. Wake, Scratch, and the Dark Presence are interchangeable. Flashlights seem to weaken. Wake in the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence is editing Wake's story once you turn the world into a fucking nightmare. No? Thanks, Saga. Wake, the story changes our reality bit by bit. The process is... <laughs> no. God damn it. Aha. Uh -huh. Fiction coming into contact with the dark place. 
has the power to change reality. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true. And what's this one? If we don't stop it, Scratch will use this permanently change things. Okay, the last one. Happy day. That's not right. Here it is. The overlap. I think that's it for now. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. I think they're just upgrades. Stash found at the cauldron lake shore. And last one, nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Oh my god. That's not right. Strange dolls. Man, that went quite far away. Uh, re reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. I'm just gonna guess these. No. No, don't do it. Makes sense. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Indeed. And that always goes well. Cool. That should be everything. Mind Palace has been created. And now we can go... Somewhere. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. Max Payne. Oh, nice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga's stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room feel free to play in whichever order you choose that's cool hi welcome okay how do i get to the okay, bucket though <laughs> what, what the fuck was that about a yard puppet monstrosity uh stuffed moose and squirrels one no thank you those baby dead marble eyes still give me nightmares mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I thought I heard the humming from the janitor. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, hosting Washington's best coffee bean sipping for lunch. All of our attractions are best. It won't open.
Oh, here he is. Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express. Oh. I like to think every time we see these like TV things, okay. it just involves um, the actual game devs. Oh, you. And the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. <laughs> it's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow road through Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trail. The countdown. I forgot he can just bash through doors. Ooh. Death rally. Open up, FBI. Oh. Cauldron Lake looked into news and rumors focus on 2010. cross reference the old case files from New York City cult similarities, commonalities in methodology. methodology. Part of the series, find out name of God of good coffee from diner. We do. Tell you what, that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the cleanest window in all of Brightfall. Also, good jam. So I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Watery cauldron lake. How does one it switch characters? Oh, maybe it's in the mind palace. Yeah, Anderson. I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own. Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. <laughs> the quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Alright. So just be careful out there. Freshest shrimp in all of Night City. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Ah, uh, those total cards. Local girl. Bitch, you know I'm sexy. I T G I R Earl. You know I am the girl. FBI. I guess head to the calf. Is this the calf? Oh God! <laughs> the fuck! 
Okay then. Catch you tune. What is this man? Need to know. Excuse me. Do you not know where I am? Auntie's in the middle of the show. Oh, all the old dears love him. Knock that cup of drink out of her hand. Still got them janky reflections. Any names I should know on here? Moosefest meets uh, Sumoy Hall. Raffles, karaoke, and skits. Glorgy. Uh, come, on, come on and all. Uh, I'm not reading all that. And likewise. Ah, dear. Oh, the old shoebox. Actually, is it worth using the shoebox at all? No, I've got like a whole row of items. I'm good. Switch reality. There we go. Am I just going to be hanging out with Sam Lake in the uh, cabin? Surprises. What demons he wrestles with. Examine the television. Together with our house man, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. <laughs> the musical. Look at Sam. <laughs> what we always do, we'll check. <laughs> instead of talking, he's crooning. This game's really bizarre in a good way. I enjoy its bizarreness. I wonder, what is the weather tomorrow? Oh, cool. From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories. This fucking game, man. Or well, these games, this series.
<laughs> God, that's so weird. I fucking love it. I'm glad I came to Alan's rally, you know. I need to take my headphones off to listen to enjoy this. This is kind of like the um, moment in Control. I mean, Control was just like epic and powerful. This is like a bit of a warp simulator. Still really funny though. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is so stupid, but I love it. There he is, the Sam. Is he gonna know Ruru Run? Shit, there he is. I love how this game is like all spooky and got this like kind of dark, creepy edge to it. And then you just got stuff like this to kind of break it up for you nicely. Kind of missed the stairs there. This was so ridiculous. Yeah, so good. Uh, I enjoyed every minute of that. Almost don't want to leave. I like the idea that, like, I mean, a lot of this stuff has got to be created by the dark place, right? It's either that or the um, object of power or whatever. But it just kind of makes you think the dark place is like this evil presence. But then it does something like that. It's like maybe it's got a fucking bright side to it. Or like a humorous side. Maybe the dark place isn't so bad after all. Maybe we can jam and have uh, beer. Is it car- Oh my god. There's more. There's more. God, the shadows aren't gonna start getting me, are they?
Oh, here we go. Run away from the shadows, Alan. Run away. Honestly, this is this is just fantastic. I am enjoying every moment of this. I love how the gods of Asgard have got a role in all this as well. Ah, that's why I couldn't flashlight. I didn't have one yet. I don't want to attack stuff, I'm having too much fun. Dark me. Look at him. He's not that bad guy. The dark place, Mr. Scratch. He's alright. He's just a bad boy. <laughs> Come on, Alan. I'll fight you for the body. supposed to take the light from somewhere. There he is, bad boy. Bad boy Alan. No charges. Okay, I need to find a charge. Where is there a charge? Oh, is it like a bit of a maze? Uh. The song's going on, so... <laughs> Fight me! I'm a bad bitch! Love you, Sam. You're the best. sure now if the song progressed itself or that was me. Wait, 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 wait. The wire is bloody because his name is Casey but it's Hard Case. Hard Case. Uh, Jesus, what am I missing? Where am I getting this light from? Here we go.
You need to be careful. There's a lot of dark spirits around it. Get fucked. Shame, I was enjoying that. I was enjoying that a lot. <laughs> Part three, coming up. I can't believe this. Fucking glare. <laughs> Please tell me where to go. Point, I don't understand. Sam, he shows me the way. Thank you, Sam. You're the best. MVP, Sam. Get back to your desk and tape. Leg on. Sweet. Still he's a torch bearer, and it couldn't be much clearer. Why is this music so good? I want to walk slowly so I can enjoy the moment. Be lit. No, that's a shame. <laughs> Fucking the power of this thing, man. Give me more. Give me more. Yeah. the game really forgiven there because I feel like I was supposed to be getting attacked or well, someone just throwing shit I think someone's throwing shit at me is it you little scamp yeah I felt like I was supposed to get attacked there but um I kind of button fumbled and I made it through okay mental What did I pick up? Batteries? I need batteries on flare. Flare, please. Yeah, I got another flare. <laughs> I love how these boxes, these crates are just taking me for a ride. Nope. Nope. You shit behind me.
That flare I've dropped was picked up as well. Nice. I forgot how the flares work in this. Wait, worth testing someone out. I can't remember if you just drop them and they can't come near you. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, OP. Okay, maybe not that OP. God damn it. Keep thinking circles, like. Avoid. Well, I massively fumbled that, but we get to enjoy music again, so. Is all that there? I think so. Jams. Jams. The guy throwing stuff. Again. Oh, he's moving. What the fuck? Where are you, you fell in? Shit out, deep wild. The jams again. Join the jam. Right. Be careful with these mentals that come from behind. Yeah, that get both of them. Nice. Alright, I think it's I think it's flare time. Safe. Actually safe. Guess so. Okay. 
take you out of the music in there. Let's get out of here. It's going to blow. Ooh, just come up with my uh, Google feed. I feel like it's worth pausing. Max Payne 1 and 2 remake seems to be Remedy's next big release. Fuck yeah. We need a rem uh, remake of Max Payne 1. It's a bit of a dick to play on the PC. That was pretty good. Right? That place isn't that bad after all. I love how both um, Jesse and Max Payne had the... Oh, not Max Payne. Alan, sorry. Had these little moments. I think after Jesse's moment, she was like, that was awesome. Alan's a bit more, res more reserved. He's like... That's pretty good. Uh, what the fuck? Is it carrying on? Oh, yes! Such a dark place am I trapped in here. It's this real I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. I'm so glad, glad this is how the stream started. Yeah, break it down, Alan. Break it down. I, oh, I need to sit back more. And bring this song to I will bring this song to its end. <laughs> Not a fan of this one. <laughs> you gotta figure it out to bring this song to its end. <laughs> now I just feel like the dark place is really starting to troll me and take the piss. Use this. I sometimes have no idea what I'm playing with this game. And yeah, I love every moment. Incredible. 10 out of 10. This game needs to be up there in uh, Game of the Year. I don't know if it can get Game of the Year, which is a shame, but... I mean, that's hard. There's so many good games this year. Bloody hell. But this should definitely be up there. This place couldn't get any stranger. Oh, Artie's about somewhere. 
Where where is uh, Arty? Lobby, wardrobe. There's the door. Storage stage. Janet's room. Leave the studio. Which I should be able to do from this way now. I think I opened a door last time. Or not. No, the door was on the other side. My bad. Oh, uh, what the fuck? No. Janet's bucket. Fuck was that? What does Arty sound so close? Oh, he's like right in the audience. Fantastic. Fantastic chapter. 10 out of 10. Brilliant. Marvellous. No. Shut up, Artie. Had enough. Ati. Yeah, I'll go for a little save. Oh, we can switch realities. Leave studio. It was all about me. This performance the dark place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Now, make sure you thank them for that wonderful musical number, Alan. Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen. Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, 
Handy. Don't write. <laughs> the Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard boiled genre the oh, whole city was built upon. Nice and easy. The Ocean View Hotel. My destination. <laughs> Every time. Oh, Find a way. They delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. Huh. Oh, this is like the, uh, Ashtray room and control. Huh. Nice fallen pepper. Did Alan just jerk there, was that me? Yeah, I think that jerk is going between the two realities or whatever you would say. So if I go at this door again. Yeah. At that point, it's turning me around. Boom, there. Turned him around. Was not right. I mean, if I keep forcing it. So much for going in backwards. Okay, something I'm not I'm not seeing here. Clearly. Shooting the lights isn't a thing. Hmm. Is it possible there's another entrance? With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance. Wait. Follow the mirror peak neon sign. Mirror peak bar? Okay. Okay, maybe I needed to go a different way. Oh, Nitz, how's it going? Oh, you just missed an absolutely amazing section of this game. 
Like, I don't know how easily it is to go back and play the stream yet, but 10 out of 10. It was it was such a moment. I thoroughly enjoyed myself every turn. Um, but I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a no you've had a nice day. And you've got a good weekend ahead of you. Uh, as you may see... Let me pause that a second. As you may see for the stream title, um, I've got a bit of a different, different setup going on. Uh, so essentially, I've moved my my whole computer from the bedroom to the lounge. So now when I want to uh, console stream, uh, I, I can I can basically stream the same way that I would play a normal game. So I can just sit here on the couch. I've got a headset now. So I might sound slightly, slightly different as well because I'm now using the headset mic. Uh, I tweaked it a little bit, but there probably is like a slight difference. But yeah, and like everything's all all behind me. Got the computer behind me. Uh, it means I can move around and be kind of more animated. And my mic is just you know secured to my head now, as opposed to the um, typical streamer mic that sits in front of you. But yeah, I know you obviously you can't see it, but I'm just turning around looking and like, let's say got my computer behind me. A really long, really, really long USB cable to hook up the um, capture card. And yeah, best part is I can just sit in my room comfortably and now I can couch game and still stream at the same time. I don't have to be stuck on my PC and feeling a little uncomfortable. So yeah, I feel good. I feel good. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, as I say, um, I feel like I'm doing pretty good after having uh, moved my setup. fragile, constantly under attack. There was no time to waste. The Dark Presence was only a step behind me. Okay, I just want to check out what that was all about. Um, but yeah, if you do go back and check the VOD, um, it may be like five minutes in or so. I started off as the other character, Saga, um, and then the game told me that I can like switch characters in between, so I was like, oh, I'm going to go check out Alan's story. So if you check out the section where um, Alan takes over again, yeah, it was just all gold. 100%. Love seeing that, AWE. And with the uh, reindeer men as well. But yeah, as I say, I think I'm doing good. I've actually had this headset for like a ridiculous amount of time, like almost six months, um, but just never got around to um, setting up the audio. I think I just got a little bit stuck in my ways with my current mic. And uh, I didn't want to like mess anything up. I was like, oh, I like how I've set my mic up. I don't want to, don't want to change. I still think some tweaking is needed for this mic, um, because I've gone from like picking up like no background sounds to like any sound. I hate my pain. Oh, not this again. Thank you for the hydrate. I didn't actually have a drink on me. I'm about to go get one in a second. Oh, I'll do it now. I'm like I'm, I'm like in the same room now. I can move around more easily. Oops.
pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm still here. I just had my microphone on mute. It's one of these handy headsets where when you push the um, the mic stick up, it goes into mute. So that's pretty handy. So um, Max Payne's dead again. Oh, fuck's sake. Also, I heard it as I was leaving the room. What was with that line, I'm dead tired as he's dying? Oh man, Max Payne. You deserve so much better. You deserve to be jumping through the air bullet time and once again. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. <laughs> I like how it, um, in other games that would be enough to stop you. Like, I couldn't go any further. Why not? They just loop me. Son of a bitch. Maybe if I get on this side first. Just kind of push me out a little bit. Wonderful. Uh, give me those words of power. We got words of fix. Increase maximum health. Fuck yep. Yeah. Does this area make any difference? I feel like it doesn't. Oh. Ominous. Find Alice. Who the fuck is Alice? Follow Mirror Peak. Okay. Ah, hydration. The good stuff. Got myself a nice peach drink. I do love a, a good peach drink. It's a very nice flavour. I very much enjoy. You die here. Not a chance. Is 
The Third Eye. Hmm, interesting book. Not as good as the uh, the prequel, The Whispering Eye. Oh man, I've got like three whole charges of uh, of bulb power. What am I gonna do with it? Okay, literally nothing good. Good. Uh oh. No. Fade away. Fade away. Fade away. Good, 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 good. That's it. Bye bye. What happens if I put the light back? I just created myself a little save spot. Nice. Bye bye. Do I have any flares? Cool, got flares. If things get a bit ropey, we can drop down some flares. Send those demons back to hell. Wait, what the fuck? This shit. Enjoy. Shits. Oh, never mind. I tried experimenting there and uh, what can I say? It bit me in the ass big time. Come on, Alan. Stop being dramatic. Just load the uh, quick save. Hang on, do I have to see Max die again? Okay, no, we start off with Max dead. Real question is, do I get my words of power? I suppose I can check. No. Balls. Yoink. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> that extra health didn't we do me much, did it? Shotgun or anything yet? No. Oh man! Oh. 
I thought I had so much bloody uh, ammo, but it was this gun still equipped, so never mind there. I have to teach our boy Alan how to uh, do a ladder slide. And was there stairs there that I missed? No. Hello, Soku. shit again. Yeah, that'll do. Nice aiming. Jesus. Fuck. Fucking hell. I want to get headshots on these bitches, but oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You know what's bullshit about that? Like, everything feels like it happened so slow, but just didn't connect. Ugh. Come on, Alan, sort your shit out. I think this time I'm just gonna drop a flare and fucking run. A little upset, Alan. Alan himself hasn't got a shotgun yet. Desperately need a shotty for that little episode there. Race them. Race them both. Alright, here we go. Clear time. Come on, 
a fruit. Excuse me. Thank you. Hang on, I'm back where I started. Son of the bitch. Yeah, boy. Who's throwing shit? Maybe they're a little bit spread out now. Die. 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 The shadow was the gym in the darkness. The fuck was that? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Chill out. I'm definitely shooting that guy. Get off me. What am I doing wrong here? I'm gonna have to restart again now, probably. Come on, dodge, Alan, dodge. What's heal? Man, this 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 part of the game did not seem like bad at all. I don't understand how I was uh, getting whooped so hard here. Eh? I mean, that's help. Are we clear? Are we good? Yeah, that's precious batteries. Oh, I still need to keep following the, uh, the light, I think. Are we just going this way? Excellent! Be gone. Disappear. Away from this realm you go. And what was that? Oh. Hope someone doesn't attack me. All 
Oh, you two, break it up, break it up. Get out of here. Break it up, get out. Go on. From where you came, you shall remain until you are complete again. Uh, okay, some some secrets up here. Coming. Party? Huh. Oh. Gone. Oh, spooky. Oh, scary ghost. Is it on there? Where you get to there somehow? Let's have a quick look. Go on. I said, piss off. Through there, in that way. Ah, oh, there we go. Words of aid. Increased hand flares, area effectiveness by 13%. Increased the effect duration of painkillers. Uh, increased effectiveness of trauma pads by 10%. I think we need to get trauma pad. Um, yeah, that one. Flares, as I've started using them now. Uh, yeah, I went up there, didn't I? Yes. We do love, we do love a save room. We like to keep it safe. Safe and protected. Remember, wrap it up. Ah, oh, never mind. I got got things crossed there. My bad. Two different types of safety. There's more yellow over there. Need to keep an eye out for that. Oh, it's Casey. A little look around before we return the light. I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. Can you? Can I get that from here? Excellent. Oh, we got words of lamp. That's a new one. Restore fifty percent health from. Uh, for each second when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows in the headlights provides 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boost provides 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy hmm so it's 50 health for each second when using the flashlight boost yeah why not Alright, so what's in here on its own? Okay. So that feels like progress. So what happens if I change the room? where the door led to. 
Okay, this feels like progress. My bad. So I want to make sure I check the dead end or the supposed dead end first, just in case there's uh, you know, items and goodies here. Uh, which I should have just looked properly because I can't go anywhere. You failed. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It's the Derman. Oh, I think it puts me over there. Is the uh, is the trick? Yeah. I'm gonna hang on to that light for now. Might need it. Fuck, did this bring me closer? Them AWE tags again. Run away. Too loud. Is that the one I discovered before? Uh, probably. I think. Yeah, so there, there. I was up there last time. What does it change here? Did I get you? Yeah, you're the one I got, I think. Have a little mosey around, see what there is. I could use that shotgun. Oh, shit. Please don't tell me I need, like, two charges. I need the shotgun. Shotgun is daddy. Go, go, go! Manhattan Lake on the rocks Shotgun <laughs> Hell yeah Yippee ki -yay. Man, I've so desperately wanted a shotgun for Alan this is the good shit. The good shit lollipop. Alright, well, see ya. Oh, 
Comme ça Come on, pull the flare goes out. Son of a bitch. Smile, you son of a. Bitch boy. Don't try it again. Oh, whoops. Interrupted Alan's heel. Uh fuck. Okay. It wasn't just the shotgun that he was referring to back there. Lake on the rocks. T fifty. That twenty fifty, I think that's what I put. Um I see one with like fucked up writing on it. Ocean view cocktail. Ocean view I think is where I'm going. So it's either two fifty or 2550. Uh, Ocean View. Ocean View Hotel. So it should be 2550, I think. Also, I feel like I'm lacking in health. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, is this where I was trying to get in earlier? Maybe. I don't know. Nice um, film noir elements to this game. Very nice. Let me in! Is this safe? Shadows kind of spazzing out a little bit. Can't keep up with my... Sp spontaneous uh, camera movements. Room 665. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? Let's see, shall we? Hello. Are we gonna rock the shit again? This game is very good at being intriguing and keeping you uh, wanting to play and to know more. What the fuck is this? Is this rock and roll, Alan? Alan, it's me, your rock star side. still or running or kneeling 
I love the way they present the law. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so cool. And it's interesting seeing like the um. I suppose the way things have moved. So it's like, I feel like Max Payne was very much its own game. Alan Wake, the original, was very much its own game. But then I feel like something happened along the way because then you had Control, which was very much its own thing. And in a way, this feels like a part of Control. So almost like this is not a direct sequel of Control, but part of it, which obviously it is. We all know that these games are connected, but this just feels like almost like, um, I don't know, Control the Alan Wake DLC or something. I mean, like the title cards, the, I mean, graphically it looks quite similar. And um, there's just a lot of things about this which remind me more of Control than the original Alan Wake. So you can see where they've sort of like took a lot of cues from there. And like, I think it seems like Control is like the the new world that they're, they're sort of like going with, if that makes sense. Because um, apart from obviously the same themes of like the Dark Place and the Torch and that, this does feel more like a predecessor of that or successor of that, then, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, very connected. There were a lot of references and Quantum Break references too. Yeah, I missed out on Quantum Break. I mean, a lot of these games I feel like I would have missed out on because um, I never played Alan Wake originally. But then I did and it was awesome. And then um, Control I played. Yeah, so like, I slowly kind of caught up in the last like year with these games. Anyway. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the house of Zane. Tom Zane, I know that name. The poet. The diver. You look like me, how the hell? Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need auteur. Why is return so important? What? Uh, <laughs> You always get worked up like Yeah, I've played the control oh, DLCs. Very good. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus return and it's it's companion piece, my film. Sharing our our life altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room, in this room, in this room, in this room. In this I think I remember hearing the name Tom Zane in the first game, but. Yeah, I can't really remember. This is very accurate. This is how us um, British folk like to party. And that is how the magic happens. I'm gonna look up Tom Zane while they're talking. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. But there's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. You were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way yep. to it. Touch the mic with my cable. Apologies. Well, so it's something else I'm getting used to. So um, this headset has like a kind of automatic pass through on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, basically built into the headset, it like 
plays my voice back to me. Which is a setting I never really bothered with on OBS, mainly because um, the the playback of your own voice on OBS is slightly delayed, and like any millisecond of delay in your voice is very disorientating because you start talking and then you hear yourself talking and it, like you stop a lot. Whereas with this headset, it's like almost instant, so it's just like listening to a recording of myself, but like instantly. Um, so that's something to get used to, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's working for me. Like I say, because it doesn't have like the weird the millisecond delay. At me. I could almost reach it. It actually works pretty w decently. Uh, where's that? Oh, here we go. I think my cat wants to go outside. He's like throwing a little fit. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. Huh. How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. Okay. I would start at the entrance lobby. I feel like I should shave the save, <laughs> shave the shotgun, save the shotgun for later. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in, the victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. It's mainly the yeah, those title cards that do it for me, I think, that make it seem very control-like. Huh, map. Yeah. So, you were the director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. Cool. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. We were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. So, tomorrow morning, from like 7 a.m. till 2 o'clock, seems like the perfect time to uh, get up and play video games because it's uh, raining all day. Wonderful. What are we doing? Oh, do I have to change the plot? Here we go. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer. Nice. Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. Everyone is invited to the pre show ritual in the ballroom. Double nice. All uh, right, so what are we doing? Find the site of the pre show ritual. Probably this way. Wake. What's up, lad? Oh, 
Was mit Boys? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fade away, little bitch boy. Fucking hell, man. Why do these dickheads take so much bullets? Yeah, we're in direct melee. I can't see how much help I've got because my cat's currently standing in the way. So it could be on the verge of dying. God damn it, my cats have found something. I need to take it away from them. Okay, sorry about that. It wasn't anything uh, serious. It was just like a cable tie for my cables, but also didn't want to lose it. So. <laughs> what are you boys like, eh? Little shits. <gasps> the doors. The doors. The, shape, the shapes I know got to mean something at some point because, um, like, you had all those doors with shapes on them and control as well. There's one that Jessie, I didn't, I didn't think she could enter it because it was like Alan's door. I couldn't get uh, in. I was missing something. And then I guess the go, the go in theory is that um, the other doors are like the other games, so possibly Quantum Break and Max Payne. So many spoopy symbols. <laughs> yeah. Fuck your artifacts. The room Final scene. The corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. The plot board was empty again. Ugh. I was getting attacked. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. Move these props from 104 to 225 for later use in the play ballroom. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. Oh boy. Sacrifices. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody in there? I think that's like a Pink Floyd song or something. I forget which one there. It might even be Pink Floyd. One of the old classic 70s rock bands, you know? Or, um, New Rock. Disappear. Go on. Piss off. Piss off, I said. And you. There'll be no fighting in this corridor. What's going on? Oh, because I'm in like a thingy room. I think I might have to change it back. I'm not sure. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. I had to be at the scene to see and understand it in order to change it. Huh. What's this? Oh, save room. Let me in. Daddy.
Hmm. Kind of feel like we should be able to access that for goodies. I see you. I was both solving the crime and creating it, as every writer did. Okay. Be gone, thought. So, what was the key that I got? It was 10. Oh, I don't have it on me anymore. I'm pretty sure it was 104. Excellent. The cult. Coming to a fitter near you. In a world where cults are normal. That's right. It's your world. Hello? Wait, what sense does that make? Wait a minute. Did I come in this room earlier? Wake. What's up? What's up? Jesus Christ, these things are just ridiculous how much damage you take sometimes. Whatever, I, I didn't. I pissed around with him. I tried to melee his little butthole. It's fine. It's fine. Um, what? Can I go over and save him? Thank you. Flashbang. Come to daddy. They changed their mind. Wake. Wake. Get fucked. <laughs> Hello, Soku. You right? What? Why are there like loads of them in here again? Oh, 
Hello, it boys. Oh, come on. What the fuck? <laughs> Swear to God, that room's full of uh, dickheads again. I swear cats know, man. Like, there's like literally no visual cues on the screen other than my ammo and health in the bottom right. Where does the cat stand on the front of the telly? Bottom right. Socky, mate, I can't see. Do I get down? Do you get down like a good boy? No? Dickhead. Hell. Give me more. More resources. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going at the minute. I feel like I'm just wandering around. Being a bit silly. Almost didn't come in here. Yeah. Can't take the duct tape. Shame. Flare gun. Ugh, one one flare gun. Tragic. What are these arrows pointing to? Flare, thank you, thank you. Fuck off, dude. I don't... I sometimes don't understand how they keep fucking whooping me so, so easily. Is my back quite far now? Yeah. Hmm. Do me in.
Alan, write yourself to have like unlimited ammo or something. Like, come on. See the bigger picture. Such bullshit. How much ham ammo doesn't go into them. And then they just float around you, hit you three, four times. Come on, I want death. I embrace it. Give it to puppy. Fuck off. I want death. I might give up in a minute. This is still my head in. I think it's too late for me. Yeah, keep, re keep reloading that gun, Alan. Keep reloading. You didn't even finish reloading. GG's. That was an absolute shit show. God. I think, the, I think the main problem is my heart is just not in it right now. And the enemy mechanics are kind of pissing me off a little bit. Alright, let's do this all again, shall I? Yeah, sure. Gonna like dance towards me. <sighs> the dodging is such bollocks in this game sometimes. It's like you fuck up the dodge, you get battered. Get battered another three times. I don't know how many times you need to tell you this, Alan. Right, unlimited ammo. Um, what did that do and why was it nothing? Come 
How many freaks are in it? Okay. Save. Getting sick of your shit. Find the site of the pre ritual. I'll pick it up. Come on. We had such a good moment at the beginning of the stream. I feel like you're really starting to uh, wane on my patience. Should have just ran in here. <laughs> but that was all going on, going on out there. Be like, flare, flare, flashbang, clear, get out of it, it's gonna blow. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. Beautiful, more flares. Oh, God, I love it. TV time. And yet, like a half remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place here. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind bending episodes, written by Alan Wayne. I am your host, Orland Dor, and I will see you soon in Night Spring. <laughs> Twilight Zone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happened there? Why did that like move? Isn't a spot that I return light to, is it? Because it doesn't feel like. Usually the lights are flickering. Does stuff like this ever annoy you in a game? Because, like, say there's a hole behind there. Like, in reality, you would just slide this up and out of the way, wouldn't you? And just like, oh man. This... I wish this was like a VR game. I would just grab the object and throw it. I don't know if I noticed that marking before. Uh, yeah, saying go here, but I don't know how to get in there. Interesting. Let me in. Same as in here as well. There's like the arrow's pointing in here, and that one's pointing back. So 
Like where is it pointing to? Bizarre. For the love of God, save, man. Right, if all those dickheads are coming back again, I'm just going to run. Eat shit. Fucking spawn them back every time you change, uh, go save. Yeah. Ah, we may have found a light to uh, mess around with. Don't care. No, it's definitely not in here because usually when there's like an opportunity for the light, it says um, not enough charges or whatever. Bye. Not even fully sure what taking that light just did. I'm guessing, like, let me uh -huh, this is get where further. Gathered before the play. Finally. This is where it began. Tap. Another idea. Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Death. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy kid. A I'm a hotel. lunatic. Yes, that's a trope for a reason. So many deaths within the hotel, you know. Form the summoning in the ballroom. Room. Guessing I have to return the light. I don't know actually, you might just take this with me. 
might come in handy. Boots disappear. Hee 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 hee. See ya. Get sick of your shit. What? Ballroom. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Let's change it up then. my writer's room on the stage. Let's go investigate, shall we? I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. Oh. I <gasps> Secret. Here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. Had a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. Words of stuff. Uh, marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Magic pocket expands and inventory by one row. That, that sounds pretty good. I feel like I'm quite full. Adds one charge to Alan's flashlight. Hmm. I don't have my phone. Going to sleepy time mode. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, I feel like knowing where stuff is on the map is pretty good. Let's go for that. I was fucking interrupt the cutscene. I was hoping to just come back to it. My bad. I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. Had a big time celebrity to play him. And he was awesome well. acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. Oh, scratched. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. <laughs> the devil. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. Right, let's check. Let's put the devil in, see what happens. This thread would create something terrible in the scene. But it's what the story needed. This is not my writing. This is Scratch mocking me. In this room, he will haunt her. Nice. No, oh, piss off.
Are you fuck still attacking me? So many of them. Piss me off. Done we is. Alan, use the shotgun. Come on. Fucking hell. I will break the game. Reasonable checkpoint. Formula summoning. Oh, you son of a bitch. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. It's a tidy or shit game. So tired. this would conjure up. I recognize my right. So I sent you out here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. The devil. I got a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. No, no. And who was this mystery celebrity? Call him Mr. Glass. Alan Wake. I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. No, no agreeing. He keeps accusing us of stuff, Alan. So no, he's wrong. He's a damn fool. This was dark, but the story had to be dark. Yeah, enjoy that shit. Bye. Can um, follow the devil's trail. Uh, all the blood. What's up? The two shotguns, that's horseshit. Oh, nice. Nice aim in there.
Um, I don't really see much of a devil's trail. Actually, I guess I can't do. Seems like it stops here. So is it this way? No, I think maybe the way I was going was correct, possibly. Oh dear. Wake. Do I have to go in there again? You'll love it. Okay, in hindsight, maybe it wasn't that bad. Whoa, what the fuck is going on here? Nice pillow. What the fuck? Fusion. Eh. What in the words of power so bad? Is that? It's like when you get war in your ears, but it's like a visual effect of it. Uh, follow the devil's trail. I, don't, I really don't know where I'm going right now. Investigation. Ballroom. I got the words of power that were in the ballroom. Can't mean that, surely. Could not be opened on the side. Hmm. <gasps> Doctor Darling. More shotguns. Q.
Sounds like, sounds like the devil's nearby. Or might just be like a spooky ghost, I don't know. Two oh six. It feels like I should be able to get into two oh six on the other side, maybe. I didn't have the key. Fuck off, bitch. Pizza? Room 209 key. Excellent. That's now open as well. I think this is just where all the party was happening. Can knock this over. Fantastic. Fuck your parties. Two oh nine I got. Two oh nine. Where's two oh nine? Stan Hall. Oh, there he is. Point and break, dude. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I'd be going. Ah, I think this has uncovered all the secrets for me. Okay, looks like we've got some new um, stuff, I think. Door went missing in 1988. Age has not aged. Longevity, not human. Alien, magic. Uncle Frank would have known more, but he is dead. Not his real name, hidden meaning. I think the rest of that we've read. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Deerfest? Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? Well, I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or, I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Door based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. What was in the case file about Door? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Warland Door went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. Cool. I never found any official records of a Warland door living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. So Deerfest is still a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny. Me too. <laughs> oh, wow. I just like moved. <laughs> This bag around. I'm glad Tim's still alright. I'm just gonna pause here for a second. Hello? I should probably go to bed soon, but I'm kind of enjoying this too much. 
To be honest, if I can find a de decent safe spot in the next five or ten minutes, I probably will. I oh, had him, bite him. Excellent. Give me all that shotgun ammo because this area is starting to piss me off. Um, I think I did the pre show ritual. Don't you dare, don't you dare, the lot of you. Place scheduled, uh, rehearsal in room 219, move to 2102. Remember, hit your marks, keep your mask on, and make it weird. <laughs> make it real freaky. I wonder if I should have kept this as devil room. Point of interest. Right, they'll just spawn everyone back in again. This is not my writing. This is scratch mocking me. Laters, fuckers. Oh, what a perfect save room. Wish I'd known this sooner. Jesus. Room 101. Where's 101? Got 11. 101. Uh, so I need to go up. Uh, oh, I need to go to the first floor. I need to go back in the elevator, I guess. What are these? Container? Be gone, ghost. Be gone. That's what I thought. Right, where was it saying there was a container? Literally right here. Or was it on the other side? Oh man, I hate hearing those creepy ass voices and just milling around. Why is it weird here? Fuck. That may have been an overreaction. Is 
are these freaks coming from? I need to figure out where the hell I'm going. Alright, yeah, this is like a warp, apparently. Leads back to the first floor. <laughs> there we go, now I'm on the other side of the map. I didn't even notice that moved, moved, um, moved me on floors. Um, so if I go out and down, that should take me to the 101. Shut up. TV show? Stripping pole. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, we need to use up some items, I think. Eh, close enough. Was there nothing in it? It came, came all this way, expecting it to be progress. What the fuck, Richard? What am I even doing? Follow the devil's trail still. I don't even know where that trail's gone. Okay, investigate the reception. Echo. Good to know. Where am I? Entrance hall. Oh. This was something out of a horror story. But I had to keep going. The devil's path up the staircase was draped in blood. Gnarly. It feels like this would be a good place to stop. But, I mean, I did just uncover what... Leave me alone. Don't scare me, work on it. I got my flashy light, I got my boomstick. I ain't scared of nothing. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Ooh. Back so much missed that, Alan. stayed in the hotel asking around at reception got me a room number hmm. six 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 he had requested of course. that room specifically 
The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Character? What character? He was the devil. The devil incarnate. Out with that special yellow I saw? No. Uh, I guess I should go to 666, but as we know we need to go that way, it's more fun to go the other way. I don't know why, but I really didn't like that big open space just then. It freaked me out for an irrational reason. Imagine being a guest in this hotel, and like I feel like most people are aware of the uh, significance behind six six six. Exactly, it's like in it's like in um. I feel like Dead Space is the best example of that because you get an indicator that literally tells you where to go. I was just like, huh, I guess I'll go the other way. But, um, yeah, can you imagine being a guest at this hotel, right? You already, most people are aware of the significance of six six six, right? Most rooms look like this, okay, just. Doors on the side, you know, a couple of doors on the other side, and you know, this door right here. Then all of a sudden, you get to this one. It seems to have its own fucking lobby. I mean, ignore the dead bodies, that's obviously very telling, but like. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Again, just have a look around. See, doors all down the side, pretty, pretty standard hotel, and then yeah, bam. It's got, hmm. I don't think I will be staying in that room, thank you. I would like another. Scratch had been there. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. Can you, can you see the scratches that on the was floor? I to have another killer idea. Okay, let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Well, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame, for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene. Executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He'd only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. <laughs> Run, Ellen! Shit! Shitting hell. I think I think I made a mistake of uh, running directly into it. Then that was um, possibly silly. I don't know why, but there's something kind of comical about um, the way Alan looks behind him when all this is going on. Alright, so don't run straight. There's a direction I should be going. A different direction. Get 
Da. Well, I don't know where I'm going. Should I have ran into the into the like the middle lobby or some shit? Oh, man. go the other way this time. Got a better feeling about this one. Get the fuck away from me. The old switch of on it, you see. Yeah, I don't really I don't really see where I'm supposed to go. Not you again. I can't use the game to make it more obvious for me. Please. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, baby. I saw a flash of myself in front of myself, I think. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. Fuck me. Am I that dumb? Writer's room is currently unavailable. Let's sort of check the map. I mean, is it just a case of going to the middle part and then going the other way? So, like, in here? Yeah, I was just a massive dumb baby. Presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Doesn't seem that obvious to me. Thanks, Nitz. I feel a bit better about that. <laughs> like I knew I knew where I had to go. Like on the map. Well actually it's not on the map. I don't think. Yeah. I haven't got this part of the map, I guess. Um yeah, I knew the way to come back. I just didn't understand how, because obviously it got blocked out, but yeah, I guess it was that easy. But this feels like a good place um, as any to save, I think. Just to make sure I could do a manual save as well. Um, yeah, I need to charge up my tablet as well because it's like on 4% and the screen keeps blanking out when I'm trying to read the chat. Uh, I've been on for like six and a half hours tonight. Damn. That's what happens when you've got these massive games. Alan Wake, Spider-Man's. Too many games. 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 Not only that, but like I want to play Mario Wonder at some point. Uh, I'm interested in Wario moves because the moves games were great. There's Steam Next Fest, even though it's been and gone. I've still got the demos for that because I was still in the middle of playing Halloween games. Why you do this to me, game devs? Um, but yeah, so more streams to come. Thank you as always, Nits, for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening and a good weekend. You, uh, you take care. I just realised I'm gonna have to get up to. End the stream anyway. Let me do that. Because I stream from my lounge now, which means my computer is behind me. Might just check, actually. See, see if anyone is streaming. Let's have a little looky-lose, shall we? Thanks for that Minecraft noise. I can stop sharing on my tablet now. I'm back at my computer. 
Oh, we've got some people doing um, 24 hour streams. Damn. Yeah, I think, I think I'll leave it there. I just, I just need to go to bed, really. It's quite late. But thanks again, Nitz. Good night and take care. See you.